Located approximately 1,804 meters above sea level, Tamabusu is the highest and most famous sandstone plateau in southern Africa, which is also known as the Mountain of Night. <laughs> At an elevation of 120 meters above the surrounding areas, Tababusiu was both a natural fortress and a place to live. Its large area could hold livestock and huts for the Basutu to live in. Dr. Mulemuhi, welcome to Discover Lesotho. Please tell us a bit about this mountain of night. We are now at Tababusiu. We call this mountain Tababusiu before it was not known. It was called Kiluani before, which is the mountain at the southern side of this mountain. That is to realize that the Bushmen were here before. Mm -hmm. Even if you go around the city, you'll find the Bushmen paintings. Even to this mountain, we have some paintings. Now that we're going up the mountain, could you please tell us a bit about the journey? From here, we are going to take one and a half hour to go up and come back the whole tour. It's depending how strong you are. Sometimes it can take you two hours or two and a half hours, not more than that. Uh, we call it Tababusiu because the Basuto arrived here at night in 1824. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. So tell me, where are we now? We are now at the um, part of Tababusiu. This part we call it the Red Pass, but today we call it Rafters Pass. It was called the Red Pass, so today we call it uh, Rafters Pass. <laughs> the custom of Basuto is no one can enter some village without a permission. So everybody must put the stone here to pacify peace. Okay. We are putting our stones because the Basutu are using the stones when fighting. So they believe that when putting the stone, they are putting the weapons down. Okay. That's why we still put our stones here. When putting our stones, we say, Di Komo Mora Mokachane. Okay. Uh -huh. Mora named everything after his father. That's why he said the cattle is for his father, the land is for his father, and the people is for his father. Hmm. Okay, let's put it together and say it together. Okay. By that time, no one can enter this without a permission. So everybody must wait here, wait for the messenger. <laughs> wow, I have finally reached the top. It took me less than an hour to get here. So come visit. If I could do it, then you can do it. And my, oh my, the fresh air. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful up here. the mountain look familiar? This is Kilwan Mountain. That's where the structure of Basutu had come from. This name Kilwan is the name that has been named by the Bushmen. Really, if you can look it clearly, it's exactly like uh, the Basutu head. That is true. Uh -huh. That's why you see all the Basutu have uh, the heads all over. We are now in a graveyard area. This grave is for Musheshwe the first, the founder of our nation, the man who was born in 1786, and he died on the 11th of March. Uh, he was about 84 years when he passed away. So this other is for the royal graveyard. This one is for Musheshwe the second, the sixth generation from Musheshwe the first. Okay, this is the royal graveyard. Morana Musheshwe the first. He have said that uh, uh, all his uh, descendants should be buried up on top of this mountain. So that's why we bring only the royal. This was a lifetime experience. 
You know, when I was thinking of climbing the mountain, I thought, okay, this mountain looks big. Am I really gonna get up there? But then I enjoyed every moment of it. I even ended up forgetting that, okay, I'm climbing up a mountain. I had fun, it was brilliant. I would definitely encourage my friends, visitors, and everybody else to come here. If, you, if, if, it, if it's gonna be your first time, don't you hesitate going up the mountain. Just, just enjoy it, enjoy the moment. Feel it, because you know that you are here, definitely. I have learned a whole lot of things. I, especially um, when I got on top of the mountain, I never knew the whole story about the Mokohotla head. The Kulwane mountain, I heard a lot of stories about the mountain. And what I love is that the tour guide, these people are very friendly. They are very, very, very friendly.